Good morning. Happy Father's Day 2021. This is Josh at Mass Gun Works. Um, I wanted to do a, a quick little video here. Uh, I'm trying to get a pistol finished up for one of my sons. Uh, it's a 22 revolver. It's a 10 folio. Um, model TA76. Good little 22 pistol. I'll do a complete uh, tear down and reassembly video on it later. It's really simple to, to work on. Uh, one thing that I wanted to cover this morning real quick. So right here, this is one of the few single action cowboy style revolvers that I've ever come across that has a thumb safety. So this pistol is unloaded and blah, blah, blah. Um, there's a, a little hammer block safety here okay and it's got a ball detent and a spring that are held in uh, in a recessed hole underneath this tab and then this screw holds the whole mechanism together so I didn't realize this when I took it apart and the the ball detent went flying and my son um, my one son, he can find anything, found the spring right away, couldn't find the balding tent, so I was trying to figure out what to do. Um, it's a little bit smaller than a 177 caliber BD, so that's that's not going to work. Uh, that's the BB right there. The diameter on this is about, I'm going to say, 130 thousandths. Uh, Anyway, what I did, <clears throat> I got on eBay and I looked up the uh, ball detent piece that you need for uh, Savage Model 110 bolt action, the extractor cloth. Give me just a second and I'll go get a bolt to show you. So this is a action that I'm going to be using for a rifle bolt. Um, this extractor cloth right here has got a spring and a ball detent that hold it in place. And it's very, very close to the same size. And you can get these for about five bucks, um, order them just about anywhere. I just go to eBay because it's easier for me. Um, Anyway, that ball detent is around 137 thousandths in size, which some of you watching this, that may not mean anything to you. It's just, it's tiny. Um, so what I ended up having to do, <coughs> the hole was just a little too small for that to fit in. So I measured it and I measured the ball that I have and I just had to, to drill it out just a wee little bit. So you take a number 27 drill bit and a hand drill and you're going to gently position this straight up and down in a vise so it's, it's held tight and you've got just enough room to get that drill bit down in that hole, okay? And then what you're gonna need to do is is drill out just a little bit, okay? Um, if you go to full depth, the hole so up. But once you do that, <clears throat> you can put the ball detent for the Savage uh, extractor in there, and it it works fine. See? Functions properly. Blocks the hammer from getting to the firing pin. The world is happy again. So, quick little tidbit, like I said, I'll do a complete disassembly and reassembly video of, of this pistol. I picked this up for 90 bucks at a gun shop. It's, it's just a nice little trainer gun. Um, nothing fancy. It's exactly the same as a lot of the other uh, $250 down 
uh, 22 revolvers out there. Like I said, the one exception to this one, and the reason I like it is because it's got that thumb safety there. And when you're teaching kids how to uh, safely use guns, having a thumb safety is a, a good thing to have because you know one of them is going to have trouble keeping their finger out of the trigger guard. Uh, so having that safety there is, is a added bonus. So anyway, um, happy Father's Day. Hope you found this video informative. Um, see you next time.